Hello everyone, Pally Tom here. Welcome back to Heroes of the Storm. Hope you guys are having a great day. I um, played a lot of heroes today, and I've lost a lot of matches. It hasn't been going well for me. I recorded a Chen video earlier today talking about future changes that he was going to receive. Right after I was done with that video, he then received those changes. So I was like, well, fuck it. I guess we'll just uh, we'll just try it out and see how it goes. I love the new changes, but got absolutely fucking stomped to the last game. Like, like, look at this shit. Look at, look at this shit. Look at, look at, look at, look, look, look. It's not going well. All right. It's not going fucking well at all. But the new Chen feels fucking fantastic. And what they did, more to the point, what they did was change how fortifying brew works. So before, you had to drink in order to get all of your brew back, and brew is what funds your ability. So if you were stunned the moment you started drinking, which is pretty easy to do for point-and-click stuns like Uther and Valera, or silences like Stukovs for that matter, if you were immediately stunned, then you had no mana to do anything, and it felt like a five or six second silence depending on what your brew levels were prior. And this is also where you get a lot of your shielding from, a lot of your sustain from. So, by stunning that right away, it really crippled Chen. But now you get 25 brew immediately. You do gain brew a little bit slower, but because of that initial boost in brew at the start, it ends up being pretty much the exact same channel time, at least I think it is. So that means, on Chen, if you're chasing someone down, you can immediately hit your fortifying brew and jump after that target with no delay. It makes him a chasing monster. No one can get away from Chen now, if played properly. And uh, it's it's scary. It's pretty scary. So we're going to try to make the most of that today. I just did the Donkey Kong build, but I went for this uh, A Touch of Honey instead of Pressure Point. And I think uh, Pressure Point's going to be the way to go. Because you could just continuously jump after targets, having two sources of slows means that your team should be able to catch up too. Anyway, getting ahead of myself, let's go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we find ourselves on our favorite map on one of my favorite characters. Drink the pain away, Chen. Just drink drink the pain away. Uh, the friendly team, Jaina, Cassia, Vala, Chen and Johanna, the enemy team, Artanis, The Butcher, Sergeant Hammer, and Lee, Ming, and Berkey. Shouldn't say and twice, Pally Time. God, fuck it, get some standards. We are going to go for Elusive Brawler. This is on a 25 second cooldown. It's going to be an active ability that allows you to dodge auto attacks for two seconds. Uh, okay. You could do that. Every time you auto attack, it is going to be reducing the cooldown of Elusive Brawler so we can avoid all of our Tannis's, the Butcher's, Sergeant Hammer's damage for the most part. And uh, we're going to be able to lower that cooldown if we're able to go in and continue to auto attack. I would assume Sergeant Hammer is just going to set up in the bottom lane, to be honest with you. So I'm going to head down there now. The fact that she isn't doing it already, though. Oh, she's middle. Okay. All righty, then. Chests are going to be up in 20 seconds. We got a lot of time to waste here, team. So let's just go ahead and clear middle. Now, if we were trying to maximize our efficiency here, cle clearing out top is one of the best things that we can do, simply because it gives you enough time to clear top lane and then immediately rotate down to middle lane, clear that and get the chest. But um, as you can see, we're kind of just being overrun here. So, hey, don't stress over it is basically what I'm saying. The Butcher coming in is going to hit our Johanna. Maybe I can get away, maybe not. Let's find out. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. But hey, Vala was able to get her coin, so that's good. We didn't give up everything. We didn't give up everything. Uh, the most important thing we can do right now is just rotate between these two lanes. Try to get to level 10 before the enemy team. She does need to be careful. The Butcher is missing, and she's very overextended, so we'll just give her a few danger pings. Looks like he is up top, though, so she's okay. Hey, better safe than sorry, I always say. Better safe than sorry. Looks like they are pushing in middle and top right now. Sergeant Hammer down in the bottom lane. I don't really know if Vala can handle that on her own because he outranges her so much, but I guess we'll see. Uh, I guess it depends on which build she's doing because she can do a lot of burst damage. For sure. Butcher is rotating down to middle. I'll clear this lane and then move down there myself and just try to rotate with the team. Notice how fast our brew returns now. So nice. Just so nice. Uh-oh. Feels bad, man. Don't don't give Li Ming any resets there, Jojo. 
Go ahead and... I could have sworn the, the Butcher was going in on me. I hit a Lucid Brawler for nothing there. But again, we can lower that cooldown just by auto-attacking. Now the middle's clear. We're going back up top. And Keg Toss is the quest that we're picking up at level 4. And it's time to start stacking that quest up. Every time we land a Keg on an enemy hero, we are going to be increasing the damage that Keg does by something like 3. But that's not the important part. Soon we're going to be increasing the range of Keg Toss as well. That's, that's the important part. So we're going to be able to basically always be throwing a keg at someone. This is the range by default. And once I land 20 more barrels, I'll show you what the range becomes. Uh, chest will be up again relatively soon. So if we're able to get that, that would be great. Top is pushing out. Uh, they are outnumbered here. So we can move it just a little bit. No, don't, don't pull me back in, Artanis. Don't do that. Uh, at level 7, we are going to pick up Fortifying Brew, which is where a lot of our sustain comes from. It's also where the resource management of Chen really comes into play. Because we have to not only have enough brew to cast our abilities, but we need enough brew to cause certain effects to happen. So if we get below 50% brew, what's going to happen is we're going to get a movement speed increase. If we get above 50 brew, we get a health regen increase. Or we can stop it right in the middle by using our W and our E and get both of these effects. And it allows Chen to chase easier, but also allows him to uh, get health back a lot easier too, depending on what he needs at any given time. So we're just gonna zone here. Uh, at least that's what I thought we were gonna do. Ended up taking a lot of damage right at the start there. Gonna go ahead and drink. Whoa, whoa! That escalated so fast. All right, I think I'm okay. We got three of those. That's a start. Let me hit you with barrels, Sergeant Hammer, please. I need it. So yeah, Brewmaster's Balance. I think Brewmaster's Balance is pretty fucking mandatory, honestly. I would not suggest getting other talents there. Uh, we can do a little bit of damage to this Artanis. It's not gonna go too crazy well for us though. Um, the Butcher's Brand is going to be up soon. It is up now. So he's going to be healing a lot off of our Johanna. Uh, we got him. All right, I'm just going to heal up real quick. Cool. So this isn't going that bad. Uh, both teams kind of trading kills here and there. But overall, I say we're doing pretty good. We do have nine coins to turn in. We only need three more. Mm, I can't really solo camps, though. Can't, can't really do that. So what we're going to do is head up here. Stop! I need to hit you guys with the barrels! You don't understand! Stop moving so fast! Now, I could kick in on top of them, by the way, if I really wanted to commit, but I'm trying not to commit that hard. I try not to commit hard to engagements when, when, when they have a butcher and we don't know where he is. But there we go. There's one more kick smash. Just let him go, Cassie. Let it go. But Murky running into me all the time. That'll be nice. That'll be nice for those stacks. Uh, this camp is up over here, but it's kind of on their side. I don't I don't think I want to be that aggressive yet. Once we hit level 10, we can be as aggressive as we fucking want to. But until then, I'm, I am going to try to play somewhat conservatively. And team fights, it is going to be my job to peel for my allies. We are... Um, I mean, Johan is the main tank, right? We're just kind of helping everyone stay alive. So we're going to go for the Wandering Keg. And if the Butcher dives in a little bit too hard, we are going to be the utility our team needs to move that Butcher away. Or set up stuff like this, where hopefully we get some kills. I mean, that wasn't the best barrel I've ever seen, but it was alright. It did its job, okay. Um, let's go in on that. Beautiful! And there's the three coins we needed to get this objective done. Before I start channeling, I do want to just get a little bit of brew back, get us over that 50% mark, and start to regen my health while we're standing here. Uh, while we are above 50 brew, we have 35.85 health regen at level 11. If we go below, it's only 8.6. So as you can see, if you need to regen health, it's very important that you're managing that brewmaster's balance effectively. The butcher last seen in the middle lane is currently missing, but Sergeant Hammer is here. We'll go ahead and slow her down. Woo! Ooh, that was getting sketchy. Barrel here. Uh, 
Ten on, ten on our barrel. I can't help. I'm sorry, but I could slow them down a little bit. I'm so sorry, team. They're all dying around me. It's awful. It I can make this work, though. I can get something. We just have to bait it. We just have to fucking bait it. We have another barrel. Get in here! Oh, I'm gonna die so bad! <laughs> ah, that was fun. That was worth it. That was almost good. Oh, oh, this is it. This is it. Fuck! Oh, who picks way before us? What's wrong with you? Yeah! I can take credit for that, right? <laughs> Yeah, I'll, I'll go ahead and take credit for that. Why not? <laughs> uh, we'll give all the coins over to our Jaina. Let her have those. We could get these too, honestly. We see everyone on the map. So let's go ahead and... Uh, well, everyone but the Butcher. 25 seconds left on our rolling keg. Or wandering keg, excuse me. Too many kegs. Keg smash and wandering keg. Uh, we can get these coins. Since Jaina didn't want to join us... Looks like the team fight's still raging on, though. Um, we have eight seconds on that, so I can't push these guys off of Jaina, but I can just try to engage here if we wanted to. On the Butcher, we're going to pop a loose Brawler so he can't heal off of us and take him down. Now, we do have the range increase on our... Yeah, you got him. You don't need me. Where is she? Come here. Come here. Come here. Yeah. 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 <laughs> That's so good. He can chase so fucking well right now. We are going to pick up pre uh, pressure point here, so our flying kick is going to slow targets as well, which makes it even easier for us to chase. Elusive Brawler is up. Unfortunately, it was mostly wasted. Uh, we can just kite our Tanus around, though. Oh, we can't kite the Butcher, though. Fuck. Fuck. Cassie is going to pull the Butcher in, and but has the brand on her. The stun from Bala will be enough. No, we'll not save our Cassia, but we will pick up a kill on the Butcher. Now, Johanna with 14 coins. Playing Scrooge McDuck over here is starting to be surrounded. Jaina was zoned out by the March of the Murlocs. Ring of Frost doesn't land. Cassia being chased down by the fi Or, excuse me, Bala being chased down by the fish. Cassia's dead. All right, well, that was exciting. That was exciting. So now that we've completed our quest, our barrel range is this long. Go back and compare it to what we had earlier if you want a better representation. But it's, uh, it's essentially, between our kick slow and our barrel toss, we'll be able to stay in range of people all the motherfucking time. I kind of skimmed over this, but the longer you channel your fortifying brute, the bigger shield you generate. So if you ever just want to tank a camp like that, it's pretty easy to do. We do have the barrel if we wanted to do something with Sergeant Hammer here. You know, I'm surprised Sergeant Hammer was able to damage me while I was pushing her under the tower. At least that's what I thought was happening. Hey, come back. Come back. <laughs> that's so good! Oh, James in such a good spot right now. He's going to be really fun to play. All right, the enemy team did turn in enough coins to get a bombardment going, but we could just take this building down, whatever we feel like it. Ooh, that was close. I hope we can take this building down whenever we... No, we're not taking the... Okay. We're okay. We're totally fine. Not even worried. In fact, we got coins from there. We're going to be able to regen no problem. Uh, Li Ming is up top. What's happening up here? Seems we've reached an accord. You know, it's not every day that something in this game surprises me. Well, damn. What is her build? Huh. Huh. I didn't know Vala could do that. Especially with a fucking multi-shot build. 
Wow. I'm like at a loss. Did I save her? Tell me I saved her. I hope I saved her. I mean, I could slow these guys a little bit. Oh, I didn't save her. Feels bad, man. You won't do it. You won't do it. I'm Chen. Come get me. I'm not afraid. Come get me. Wait, your bots is killing your base right now. All right, can I win this? If Berkey's here, I'm dead, but. Yeah, get out of here. Get out of here. I mean, he can kill me whenever he wants to. I believe so much in this, and I don't know why. I really, I really thought I had that, and I don't know. Like, the second I went in to deal some damage, I was like, well, that wasn't enough. Unfortunately, we are going to lose our top fort right now. Uh, boss on this map is laughably just awful. You could see that boss was pretty much uncontested and still only managed to get most of the wall down. That's because the slam on this boss is a circle and it only hits the wall initially because of how the towers are placed. If they simply move these towers up to be more in a straight line, it'd be fine. They haven't done that yet though. I mean, I don't really think they need to, to be honest with you. It just lowers the value of boss on this map. So even though we did get that and it seemed like a really good play and it could catch our team off guard, or their team off guard, you'll notice that uh, it still wasn't that impactful at all. So, our level 16 talent that we picked up another round increases the keg smash radius by 33%. After hitting an enemy hero with keg smash, our next basic ability that we use is gonna have uh, three seconds off its cooldown. Will be reduced to three seconds. So, we can basically throw a lot of kegs. That's, that's basically what it means. We can throw a lot of kegs. Uh, kind of waiting on the team. Try not to overextend too much here. We're okay. At least the brawler is up. We do need a little bit of health regen to happen. Oh god, that Li Ming reset! Oh my god, that Li Ming reset was scary as fuck! Stay back! Stay back! No! <laughs> <laughs> Did we just lose? Do we? Do we just fucking lose? No, they're not pushing. Good, great news, every. Oh, hold on. Good news, everyone. <laughs> uh, wow, they could have ended the fucking game there. With a butcher and sergeant hammer, they didn't want to go core. That's astonishing. Well, we have another chance. The enemy team is level 10 now, or excuse me, level 20 now. So uh, they're, they're probably the strongest they're gonna be. But I still think we got a chance. We got a chance, team. Um, I think I might go for wandering keg speed and uh, just try to completely remove a couple of their teammates out of a fight. Uh, how are they on coins? They just used all their coins too, so... Oh shit. We just lost our Cassia. That's unfortunate. Let's not, well, let's not, let's not do anything too crazy here. Especially when there's no reason to. There's no reason to be doing any of this. Alright. Whoa, blink. What? Fuck. And that's the game! They even gave us a second fucking chance! The curse continues, but... Chen's gonna be in a great spot now. I think uh, that small little improvement that they did, giving him that initial brew back, is gonna be so meaningful. So fucking meaningful. I mean, it's not the Li Ming that fucked us. We just let her get a bunch of resets. Like, we all went in and died. You have to take some accountability. It wasn't just Li Ming, you know what I'm saying? I mean, they aren't killing this shit too fast. Maybe we still have a chance here. I mean, this is an endless march of the Murlocs. Nah, it's over. 
The losing streak continues, but don't let that deter you from playing Chen. I really do think these changes are quite excellent, actually. Uh, you can, you don't have to go for the keg smash build. That's just my favorite one. There is a t it's totally viable to go for like just a full on um, kick build where you just jump in all the time and deal a lot of your damage that way. I think that's totally viable. I would recommend that um, you stay away from certain talents though. Where's our stats at the end? Yeah, it's not bad, not terrible. Uh, so for instance, um, I think that. Refreshing Elixir? Just not worth. I think that his precious ingredients just kind of sucks, too. Uh, Elusive Brawler gets a lot more value. I don't know. He just has some talents in here that they're, they kind of just feel like trap talents. They seem good on paper. Like, oh, I, I, could, get, I could heal for more. And, oh, my shield stays with me? Awesome. But the amount of time you actually spend drinking means that, you well, the shield isn't fucking doing much. You do get 30, you do get 30 health regen by picking this talent up when it's done, but as we already saw in that game, you also get basically 30 health regen for just going for Brewmaster's balance. So fun character, just got better. Hope you all enjoyed. I'll see you all next time.